Welcome back. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up. Actually, I'm going to continue showing you how to uh, set up the animation for the menu using velocity. So I'm going to show you how to do this animation right here. And then I'll throw in the overlay right here. So let's go back. And I was looking at the performance of it. And all in all, my complete bundle uh, when it's set up, it's 104 kilobytes. You want your website to be below one megabyte. This is right, actually 556 kilobytes, so that's fine. And that's counting all the images and all that kind of stuff. I believe I have to make them smaller, but for the most part, I was looking at, hey, are these JavaScript files maybe adding too much? to the build because I do see that it's a little bit big once it's unpacked 300 kilobytes that's a lot but for the most part once it's built and you have it inside your project and you're using webpack and or or in this case Laravel mix uh, it's really cool as far as like the, the size of it obviously it's not gonna be all of that so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna install this velocity animate library right here so if I go back into the project, I'm going to do npm install. I'm going to save this and it's going to be velocity animate. And this is what's going to have the animation. You can also do the animation with CSS or something else if you're really good at that. Uh, I find it actually this uses CSS, but I find it that um, for websites, again, going back to that, a lot of times uh, CSS3 is not... Um, they don't accept it you know it's it's like there is a deprecation thing like not deprecated but older browsers like a lot of people still use Internet Explorer or like an old version of Safari uh, it doesn't read it well so with with JavaScript uh, it, it actually like knows exactly what to do as opposed to with CSS3 I'm pretty sure it's gonna get there but for now I do it like this you can also do it with CSS3 basically that's what I'm trying to say and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the transition API and this is Vue.js uh, transition API and we're gonna be doing uh, some of these webhook calls so not webhooks but JavaScript hooks ra rather and basically V on enters so they're saying like an event enter before enter so you're, you can set up your own animations like this and then uh, do uh, he, here is what we're going to be setting up velocity.js so actually we're going to do in leaving um, so let me see I set up set it up for my website just yesterday so I can just look at exactly how I did it over here and if I go back into what is using my menu it's probably inside uh, my front end blade and you see it's the same thing that I'm doing on the other side I'm just rendering this with PHP and then I'm actually having it okay I have it in the actual build this is a little bit different because the CMS but here here's what I have I'm gonna start doing it one by one so you can see so before enter and this oh and this obviously is gonna be only when it's not mobile uh, mobile is right here so the event that I'm setting is right here and okay so I'll, I'll do a few more things on that so let's start doing that so before enter let me walk you through this one so the methods that I'm gonna be adding and, and this is why you can tell like sometimes it's better to do a Vue.js uh, component itself and just throw this in there because it, it starts getting bigger and bigger on your instance or maybe you can use use a, one single instance for the menu and then use an instance for everybody else and, and, and that way have smaller chunks of code and not a complete large build uh, so basically what this is doing is saying hey oh this is actually acting on the overlay we already have an overlay that we are using uh, maybe we can piggyback out of that so let me see the overlay I don't actually have anything in here for that so mm, well I can just comment this out and I'll, I'll show you exactly what that is so this is before enter uh, you actually get the element right here so 
if I go and show you before enter right here on the Vue.js JavaScript hooks, you're going to see that before enter actually gives you the element. That's really nice. So I'm saying, hey, the element display block, because by default it's not, it's not really showing that. Um, well, it's doing it with view, but basically what I want is I'm going to hide and, and show it as as you before you enter you show it and then you you hide it after it leaves the, the so before it enters it's gonna hide it and after it leaves it's gonna hide it and before it enters it's gonna show it and that's basically just making sure that I don't really know what that is in there so let's see before enter yeah we don't really need that one so never mind let's start with the enter and leave right here so every day you improve so um, we don't really need it so I can just do right here enter because we're actually controlling that with uh, with the menu active so I can just say as I enter I can just say hey this menu active equals true but obviously I'm doing that on the toggle so maybe I'll see once I once we run it we'll get a better idea basically enter gives you the element and it gives you done when it's done um, with that element so that way velocity knows when when this is done you know when this is complete and this is the duration of the actual animation I want to make it 500 I'm gonna do margin left to zero and that's basically I'm gonna move it using margins um, so that's just gonna go left and, and right like that. So it's gonna be margins based on that. And this this is the enter and let's do leave. And I'll walk you through exactly what's going on in leave. So this is as I enter and this is as I leave right here. So leave element done. So velocity, mid element margin left of minus 100. So basically it's doing, hey, the, it's minus 100 is shifting the entire element to the left minus zero is shifting it over here to the right and that's how it's going to be animating and again this right here gives you a promise so you can do then and then do something with it and that's basically how i'm showing the overlay on the other side and i can show you afterwards exactly how that is done and let me see after like if it's just displaying a, maybe i have a feeling i do need that but let's let's walk it through like this and see Another thing that I see here we don't have yet is we haven't called velocity. So believe that we can do, and yeah, there you go. Import velocity from velocity animate right here. So now I have velocity in here. So velocity is going to take care of that animation for us. We don't have to do anything with that, and which is really cool, honestly. And then it enters and lives, and that's how it's going to be showing our menu our element right here one more thing that we need to do is we need to set up the transition on the menu so i don't see a transition right here the transition works as a parent of this right here whatever the element that is showing so if i do a transition right here that's how it's gonna know okay you want to transition this child right here and it, it works with this v show that's how it transitions when when you v show hide it and it's false this is going to transition when it's true this is going to transition that's how it knows and then if we go back in here we're going to see that we can use before or enter right here so we can do v on enter and again that's the same thing as me saying at enter use enter and then at leave use leave there you go i like to use the short codes better i just got used to them by now and then one more thing that it's gonna need is we don't want to and there's a note over here so you basically don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you don't run any CSS and you're basically gonna do don't don't use CSS you're gonna be buying CSS which is the same thing as just passing a property like right here like that so it's gonna be B this is B vine is the same thing it's just a short code equals false so I don't I don't want to pass any CSS animations and that way view knows that you're doing your own animation with JavaScript so transition enter and leave okay let's let's take a look at how that's looking so if I go inside of the playground 
Oh, one more thing. I have not run the assets. So I did NPM audit fix. So basically there's a package there that is reporting some kind of, of um, security vulnerability. So found three, two low, one high, and, and it's saying, hey, this package advisories. So, so one of the packages, you know, that's the thing with NPM. It has so much dependencies on the dependencies on the dependencies that that um, it, it ends up being a whole lot of stuff that you're loading and and yeah like it can get some of them can be vulnerable but the good thing is that they give you that advisory and then you know like okay you can take care of that all right let me make sure i'm recording yes it is recording <laughs> it's happened all right so it's already built and let's go through it Oh, it's not really looking that good, but yeah, we'll get it there exactly. So one thing that I see here is that um, maybe what is going on is like it needs to position itself to the parent element. So this being the parent element right here, maybe it needs to be a position of relative and then the child, which is going to be this menu right here needs to be a position of absolute that way it knows like this is I'm, I'm the parent and in this case I want to make sure that this is showing 100 uh, percent on top of the parent so basically it's gonna go from 0 to 100 this is the parent right here this nav bar and it's gonna put right here right below the the, the nav bar right here because it's doing top 100 percent or you can also do bottom zero so it's like the bottom of the zero the bottom is at zero and then to the left zero obviously so that it's it's connected to the left over here and let's see what that looks like so maybe not so good maybe i do need 100 percent right here on the top so let's do it again yeah there you go so that looks much better one thing that I do see in here when you do this is like you're going to make sure that this is display block and 100% at the same time you got to give it your own padding because now it doesn't have a parent like the way it did before. So now now I'm actually going to make the background the same way that the other is. So this is not really 300 but it's more like a F, 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 D, F, D or something like that. So I can look at it once I go over there or I can just pick it back and just get it right from right here. So right here. Yep. Yeah, so F, F, A, F, 9, F, A. So that's the color that I want in here. Background. And as you notice, I'm doing some of this already in my browser. That way I know exactly what. I need to do and now when I'm the only thing that I'm gonna need to do right now is just copy this and like put it on the other side so if I go back into the app.css and I have this nav bar nav I'm gonna add this styles over here and for that you don't really need to do 0px you can just do 0 it's gonna build everything again that's gonna give me that same color that we are using on the other side now we should be good now the problem with this is obviously now it's gonna break it on on it's gonna break it in the other side on on desktop but we'll make sure we fix that once we are done with this so as you see like it, it gives you that nice animation where it's going from left to to right or la right to left when it closes and it's using the margins for that so that's that's pretty neat you know you can also play with the speed depending on what your preference is i like 500 but i know that 300 also is, is pretty good um i'll say like 100 is way too fast but i, I don't know if you like it you, you know it's it's yours now so you can do whatever you want with it 